Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV, where we're coming to you today live from the floor of ITW 2025. And we're talking to leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. You're talking to us about innovations and, and developments in, in this important industry. And I'm joined today by Matt Monaco, who's the Senior Vice President, Asset Management for uh, Powerhouse Data Centers, and Vardhan Chaudhry, who is also sen Senior Vice President for Asset Management at Powerhouse Data Centers. So, so at Powerhouse, you're doing a lot of great things. I know that uh, you've been expanding rapidly uh, recently. I think probably have a lot of updates for us. I know that we chatted with you not not probably that long ago, uh, Matt, but would you mind starting and just telling us a little bit about what you've been up to? Yeah, ha happy to. Uh, we're, we're continuing to see a great trend in the market right now where uh, our strategy of focusing on uh, immediate gratification on power within 24 to 36 months, large campuses in or approximate to tier one markets uh, that are suitable for multiple use cases, whether it's cloud or AI training or AI inference. Um, and, uh, and, and the demand picture that's out there that you know multiple hyperscalers and recent earning releases have, have talked about a shortage of supply, even slowing down their growth. Um, and our, our campuses are really very well positioned to support those needs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we want to dig a little bit more. Maybe you can add a little bit onto that just in terms of how Powerhouse is really supporting this explosion around AI and hyperscale demand. Absolutely. And thank you for having me. It's really great to be here. Um, so first I'll say I'm a relatively new joiner to the Powerhouse team. So I'm part of the growth that we're experiencing as a company and I'm thrilled to be here. Um, just to sort of uh, tag on to what Matt was saying, you know, I think we're, what we're seeing in the macro environment and across the country and the world is a lot of uncertainty. But one thing that does remain certain is that the demand side of data centers from the hyperscalers continues to be extremely strong. Um, and that's really heartening for us as a real estate solution provider to the data center industry. We are providing exactly that, real estate solutions for our hyperscale tenants. And um, that continues to just uh, drive a tremendous amount of growth for our company. And again, once again, as Matt said, it's all just driven by the demand from the, from the hyperscalers. Yeah. And, and that's not all. I think you're, you know, you're also growing in geographically, right? Into new markets. Can you just talk Absolutely. a little bit about that? Absolutely. We, we are uh, very quick at identifying sites in both primary, but also secondary markets that have, uh, as Matt said, immediate gratification for our customers on power, but also entitlements and really shovel-ready data center projects. So we have sites in Louisville, in uh, Nevada, and Reno specifically, in Dallas-Fort Worth, in Texas, and a number of other markets that while are uh, sort of considered tier two markets, what they do offer is low latency and immediate access to sort of expansion uh, of data center capacity for tenants. and. Once again, we're seeing demand and we're excited to deliver and execute on these projects in some of these tier two markets. And, and do you want to talk about what's what's driving the growth? You, I mean, you started a little bit, but Matt, would you mind expanding on that a little bit? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's it's really the continued growth of cloud. Uh, th this is a business that was already growing quite well before AI came in. AI, I always think of as like gasoline on the fire of an already fast growing cloud business. Yeah. Um, and this is needed across all the geographies. I'll just add a bit to what Vardan said as well. Uh, our, our portfolio in total is over six gigawatts of powered entitled land capacity, um, covering eight markets and growing. And uh, you know we're continuing to find good alignment between where we're pursuing projects and where the hyperscalers want to be. And one of the big topics, I mean, I, I, we can't not talk about this, I don't think, is when you're talking about such, um, you know, fast, plans for expansion is some of the issues around uh, grid constraints and power. And, and so maybe if you wouldn't mind starting and telling us a little bit about, you know, your just procurement around power and how you're tackling that. Sure. I mean, to put it um, to put it bluntly, that's the game. Uh, yeah. Power continues to be the long pole in the tent and the constraining factor in data center development across the country and the world, frankly. And what we've been doing proactively in both our site selection and then ultimately in our execution on these sites across the country is partnering with utilities uh, to establish plans and commitments for power delivery on certain ramp schedules that meet our clients' needs. Um, and I just wanted to emphasize and underline that term partnership. Uh, we are 
working within the constraints that the grid operators and utility providers have. And in some cases that requires creative problem solving on temporary power that leads to then permanent power. Um, but ultimately we are working hand in glove with our utilities, utility partners across the country uh, to secure really commitments that are critical to then executing for you know, these very large campuses that are in triple digit megawatts, if not gigawatts in terms of capacity. Any final words on that for us, Matt? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the partnerships with utilities are really critical and, uh, and a lot of it comes down to a rinse and repeat model too. Once we build a good relationship and a lot of trust with the utility partner, we're finding more projects, which means we're getting to market faster um, and, and bringing on more capacity uh, in those same markets. Well, that's all for us today. I think that, you know, you I appreciate you stopping by. It's such a busy, busy week always here, isn't it, at ITW? It is, that's yeah. for sure. You've got, I'm sure, a jam-packed schedule, so right. we'll, we'll let you get to it. But I really, really appreciate you coming and, and talking to us here at JSA and to our, our viewers. So thanks again. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in again here to JSA TV Live, coming to you from the floor of ITW 2025. Until next time.